we drew a lot of our uh, inspiration for our characters from the classic pulp action adventure stories that you've seen uh, in books and movies and comics. One of the hallmarks of this genre is the fact that you have a very relatable hero who's kind of an everyman. All of the heroes are really recognizable human beings with all of our strengths and flaws. And we figured out that that was something very important for helping audiences connect with the character. This is finally it. It's not just the fact that you have chases and gunfights and a heroine and all this other kind of stuff. It's, it's the fact that the characters are real people. They can make mistakes, but be heroic. Nathan Drake is our hero, and he's the kind of guy who knows how to handle himself in a tight situation, but he's really just a guy in a t-shirt who finds himself in a difficult situation and has to rely on his wits a lot to save the day. Elena's a really cool character. I think she's something a little bit new and different for video games. She's a bright, self-sufficient young woman. She's very curious. She has this strong intellectual drive, has a kind of unconventional beauty. And there's this immediate chemistry between her and Nathan that really helps drive the story forward. What's going on? Birch. Pirates. Then there's the character of Victor Sullivan. He's kind of that guy's guy adventurer. He's the consummate con man in a world of con men. There's nothing here, Nate. Let's just keep that between us. For the first time in Uncharted, we actually had to cast actors who had stage or TV or film experience because we were doing motion capture for all of our cinematic cutscenes. So we have real stage and film actors coming in, getting in the motion capture suit, recording their voice while they're acting out the scene, which I think is really important because you, you capture that moment rather than having them try to pantomime to some voice dialogue they've already recorded. The physicality that's demanded in doing motion capture and creating, you know, an action film, essentially, has been tricky. All the stunt work we have to do here, I mean, I go, is this my job? This is so much fun. But at the same time, the next day, I'm like, oh my word, I am so incredibly sore. Well, I think the coming together of film, stage, and video and games is happening right here on the mocap stage. I really staged things as if I was doing a play or a scene from a movie. I had no experience. I was flying by the seat of my pants the whole time, scared to death and having a great time. You know, in front of a camera for, for film or for TV, you've got a set and the other actors that are there with you are in their costumes. Here, you're all, you all look very silly. You look like you're wearing a wetsuit with dots on it. And so it, it really requires you to exercise your imagination even more. It's like the three of us have this treehouse that we built and we're doing missions and it really makes you feel like you're on an adventure. I have a seven-year-old little boy who asked me, Dad, what do you do? And I said, well, do you remember when your buddy came over the other day and you guys ran around the backyard and the clubhouse became a pirate ship and you were jumping off? And he said, yeah. I said, that's what I do. The hell? This is not a period historical adventure, it's a contemporary adventure. And so if we went with completely a classic approach to the music, kind of big orchestra, big traditional instruments used in traditional ways, to me that would have felt out of sync. Working in the action adventure genre musically, you can frequently find yourself falling into a lot of cliche sort of action adventure things musically. So we've tried really hard throughout the project to do things that people have never heard before. So the composer that we sought out actually is a guy named Greg Edmondson. Really great guy, really talented, and he's the guy that did all of the music for the television series Firefly. The way he was able to take unexpected instruments and use them to sort of support the story and this adventure, I thought, well, here's a guy I think who could get what we're after. Because you were on this island and you did not know where you were, and you were searching for something primitive. They thought this would be fun to use unusual instruments that don't get used a lot, and to use things that we do here, but not to use them in a normal way. And that sounded really intriguing to me. I like that kind of stuff. You can get all sorts of strange, unusual, weird ethnic instruments and play them in any number of ways, and it's just fun to do. 
he left a lot of room in the music and he infused a lot of rhythmic excitement into the music so that it's both engaging melodically and texturally, but it's also very malleable for us in post. We can shape it to the world and let the world breathe and let the sounds of the jungle come through. One of the things we try to do with each game we create at Naughty Dog is make it a technical showcase for the PlayStation hardware. So we've got a team of the best engineers in the industry working on this game, and I think we are really going to set the bar for PlayStation 3. We wanted this game to be fun with a ton of different interactions, a ton of different mechanics. But at the same time, we wanted a really good story to have a, Drake be a real guy, a character, somebody that I can play, that I can interact with. That was the goal, and that's what we accomplished. We've created a contemporary action-adventure set in the real world. It's not a fantasy game. It's very much rooted in the reality that we all know. And yet, we really recapture all the romanticism in the original sense of telling a tale of heroic actions. So all of this stuff is really coming together to lend an incredible reality to our player character that I think audiences have really connected to. I think there's a huge value in going outside your comfort zone. You just don't go right to the obvious. Now, it makes everything much harder, but in the end, it's all worth it. Get something that people haven't seen before. I'll be damned. I'm most excited about how fun it is to play and how you just lose yourself in the environment and the world that we've created. You know, I mean, when you pick up that controller, it's really easy to have fun, to be powerful, and feel like you are the action hero.